Okay, so first step with building the frame for this wall that's gonna go between Charlotte's room and the bathroom is I need to add a stud next to this one. Um, if you remember from my previous walls talking about that, we have to have something for the drywall to stick to. So I'm gonna put a wall, uh, a stud here for the drywall to stick to and then this stud will be what the frame for the wall will stick to. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this, cut it, get that installed, and then um, we can start building out the frame. Cut and up there, um, again, it's just for drywall purposes. It's not for support or anything like that. So we don't need to uh, screw it into the header or anything like that. I'm just, uh, I think it's called mirroring when you put it against another stud. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna put about four screws in. I already have two, so I'm gonna do one up top. And then I think I need one down lower. Um, so you'll be able to see me do that one, but I'm just getting it screwed in and then we can build the frame that goes uh, between Charlotte's room and the bathroom. I want to get it done as fast as possible because there's no privacy in the bathroom right now. And it's still really hard to get up in here. build our frame. I've taken the measurements for the base plate and the first stud um, so I'm going to cut those pieces of wood and get them in place. So I have this one going up, uh, the stud ready. Um, now I need to have the stud, uh, I have to drill a hole in it for this hose here. Um, I think it's a vent hose, I'm not exactly sure. Um, at this point it serves really no purpose. I think maybe it was for the gas water heater, which it's no longer gas, so I don't need it. But um, I trimmed it down, I'm, still gonna, I'm just going to stuff it into the wall, but anyway, so I need to drill a hole into my stud for this to go through um, and then we can install that stud. So I have my stud right here. So I'm going to measure the height up from that pipe and where I need to drill that hole. All right. So I went ahead and I, I just poked a hole in it, uh, but we measured it was an inch and a half in and then four and a half inches up. So this should be the center of where that tube goes through. So I'm going to go ahead get this attached to my drill um, and then we'll drill that hole. I made sure that my stud was plumb. Um, now we're just working on screwing it into place. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. to measure out 16 inches um, and get the other studs in place. I know that this looks like it's crooked, but I promise you it's not. This is what's crooked. This is straight. Alright, and then I'm 
measure so we can measure 16 inches. building wall this way is harder. <laughs> so much easier building it on the ground. Um, in my opinion. But with this space here, kind of made it difficult to do that. Alright, 16 inches. Uh, I'm do the same thing down below. Alright. Where's my mallet? bottom. All right, so now we're going to have to do it again for the space here, and then we should be good. All right, so 16 inches. because the toilet's in the way. All right, so for the second half here, I'm just gonna measure um, to get the length that I need, giving some space around the pipe, so. the side of the level so um, now I can go ahead and screw this bottom piece in place. Um, so let me grab some screws. that I drilled in here are for the header uh, for this wall for the cords that are coming through the ceiling there. Um, so I went ahead and drilled those holes um, and then I have this piece which is pre-cut um, you have screws in it still. Um, 
which I'm going to take out quick. Uh, but this is going to be the first stud that we put in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this to the header before we put the header up. Um, just to help give it a little bit of extra support while we uh, get it in place. Below as well. Hi, one, two, one. I'm stubborn. Okay. Hi, 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 Yep, all right, I need to go trim this board a little bit. I cut it a little bit too big. Um, so we're gonna trim that. Okay. All right, so it's knocked in place. I'm gonna make sure that it's plumb. Can I buy you a big pillow? Yeah. Maybe. Mommy's gotta finish doing your rooms first. I'll go buy it. You're gonna go buy it? Okay. It's in my pocket. Everything's plumb. I gotta give my daughter back her credit card. Here you go. While you're at the store, can you get me some coffee? Yep. Okay, thanks. You're gonna get some milk too? All right, so now I'm going to uh, get it all screwed in. I hate stick building where you put it in one at a time like this because the boards almost always shift as you're screwing them in. I'd so rather build it on the floor. But for this situation, I'm not going to do it. Is that my Gatorade? No, that's your coffee. Is that my Gatorade? Yeah, but this is your coffee. Oh, that's my coffee? really hard to screw in when it's high up, but I'm pulling it.
All right, now I'm going to check with my level. First that it's plumb. And that looks pretty dang good. And then we check with it this way. I'm going to take my drill bit um, and we're going to drill holes into these studs for the electrical cord that goes to the uh, furnace. So I'm going to start going on that. all the way through. Um, now I can go ahead and feed the wiring in. Okay, so I actually can't run the wiring through the uh, studs yet just because I still have to do a wall um, this way on the back side of the furnace. Um, so I have to wait because I know there's going to be another stud that I'll have to drill a hole through. Um, I suppose I could start it. I just can't bring it all the way through and connect it again. So yeah, let's do that. I'll start it. turn off the power because I don't want to risk anything. But it's pretty easy. Once you have your holes drilled, you just push it through.
further. Forgot. Almost forgot. Now we just need to not touch them. Okay, that's that.